Hello everybody, and welcome back to Mark Wingham Productions. Today we're playing more Seven Days to Die. So, let's get started. So, I've actually started on the massive material grind I actually need to do. If I'm going to upgrade this entire thing to steel, um, I'm not actually quite sure if I'm going to do that until, I don't know, the day 21 horde, but I think I'm going to try. Uh, I actually need close to 7,500 steel, and yeah, that's pretty expensive, it's close to... It's probably not a bad idea to, to, I don't know, get 200,000 iron, basically. So, that's close to 30,000 of this raw iron, and, well, I don't have any near that. I have a lot of that, but yeah, nowhere near. So, where's the first stack? Yeah, 30,000 30, 30, is it. So, basically, what I'm just doing now is just melting them. Um, Wolfed off the iron and forges like some some stuff. I'm not quite sure what this stuff does actually want to melt down. Like I basically spent like two minutes trying to melt this iron shovel and it's not really melting down, so I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, uh I actually headed out to that well, to the forest by just actually got a ton of well just actually dug all the um, all those uh rocks. The blur, so I actually got a lot of stone now. There. Which is good. And so I started making fertilizer. And I also made a farm on the top of the roof there. So I actually decided to move my farm just because it's a little bit I don't know, easier to have it up here. So yeah, we have a free by free farm. Probably shouldn't need too much more than that. Yeah. So the plan for today is just gonna be doing a little bit of like Miscellaneous work around the base. Uh, it's almost night time, so I'm gonna head on the stairs to some mining. And another thing as well is try to not break my leg again. I actually. Yeah, it's one hour. So I actually broke my leg, splinted it, broke my leg, splinted it, and then when I was, I think, five minutes left of that thing, broke my leg. Uh, apparently. When you actually have a split leg, you can't jump as well, you can't fall as like far as you could before. Yeah. Anyways, let's get started. So that's apparently how growing coffee looks like. <laughs> so I can my little check on the farm and I'm apparently managed to get it just in time. the last time I'm gonna use this uh, small farm here. Well, I might actually still use it for like on a bulk farming, but I actually had this. They were just way better, so yeah. You can actually see like the planting pattern, I guess. Right, so I'm actually just currently done in the heat room and I just started to work a little bit on that because. I had to get a little bit tired of, again, the speed of the forges. I can only have three forges upstairs, so I made another five. I don't want to stack. Oops, so, yeah, which is basically what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm just gonna go, uh, this is a Seska basically, I'm gonna go and not work this out there, but yeah, right. To get off that darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
to get off that darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Okay, AK for some schematic, SMG barrel and AK for some stop. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's a treasure map. So if I read that here. What's gonna happen now? It is going to nice. Wow. 
So in the last couple of episodes, I made a lot of steel, and we have actually I brought down two thousand. We have a little bit more upstairs, but let's have to bring down two thousand to start upgrading the wall layer. So. so I'm going to upgrade the chamber doors and that bottom. Like how much that's going to work to I mean it's going to be 200, yeah, 200 blocks. So Let's make sure just tear down like the mining out. It's going to be the crafting room. So this is gonna be the forge room. I will actually, I think, have another 40 forges. You know, that might sound a bit crazy. I mean, there we go to crazy forges. So I'm actually, this is gonna be basically the. I'm gonna have campfires in the back and then uh, workbenches here and chemistrations at the side as well as. Um, so that makes it in the middle. But the thing is, I finally leveled up to level 120 which will not finally mean I can take highest level tools with me and also be able to get crafted for 500 so I'm just gonna go and do now is I could head upstairs and craft a little 500 iron steel pickaxe and emerge them probably craft two items to see how much I can actually get so yeah So I'm actually just currently making a ton of steel with all the forges just to bring iron and clay don't stop to make a steel. Um still not quite sure if you can actually pick up those forges though because we can't hold down F and I drop that now, okay. And there is indeed a line clay block, so I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Anyway, so it's time to do the big thing, which is to climb it to so so I'll make a 550, make a 548, uh, I think I might do that, and then do that, 598, so that's basically going to be the best pick you actually can get, um, so yeah, so the really big thing, okay, I am currently, uh, tool, well, mine tools 100 out of 100, mine 69, 5 out of 5. Uh, every other skill when it comes to like this stuff is max. Tools per 10 out of 10. I mean, there's block damage there, but I think that's actually only construction tools. <laughs> no, so, I don't know. Can I with this pickaxe one shot stone? I can. Oh, finally. So messy. I'm gonna have to go and check out how much damage it actually does. Just 550. Nice. Now, there is a little bit of a concern with this pick. Not the fact that I only get 57 basically per. Stone. Uh, with basically what I actually get is I get some hit, and that was actually the same I got with the old one, but the old one was a hit, which first meant I got from one stone a hundred. Yeah, so. You know what? I don't care. No, no, I just want to clear out the massive area. So I'm gonna, this is going to go so much faster. So I decided to do some pretty changes there. <laughs> pretty much, pretty big changes. Um, this is going to be where I'm going to have my storage room. I want to have my storage room uh, because I mean, I know basically the stuff up there. I just want to have like kind of stay in my bedroom probably. This is going to be the crafting room, so I would put some work here. And I actually decided to start making a tunnel going this way, uh, just for. More stone, yes. So. This looks pretty fast as well, I know. This is a 
like a swing time or something. No. But the moment all of this fortress is actually filled with like, 12,000 stone eight, which is like 84,000 stone right there, so. I have a lot of stone. I probably have. Well, if you count stone and sand, I have 100,000 stone. Plus, I have like. I think close to 30,000 cement, I think. Maybe more. It is so much easier. I mean, I guess twice as easy than I'm just like getting all mine in the start set. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna go and. Still don't scream right here. I'm not quite sure, like, kind of seems like this room here is kind of weird. Well, <laughs> so when I'm standing in the middle, and this isn't in the middle of this thing, but what basically happens is screamers will walk across them and actually break their legs and then just start crawling on the outside. I don't know why. Anyways, we can just let you know that. So, we'll do some mining. I just want to come out here to check um, the progress we've finally done. So we have finally managed to finish the concrete slab around the entire base. Which I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure where the circle is still there. I think that might actually be to like actually highlight that there's a POI here. I'm not quite sure because I mean there's only many circles here, but I don't know. But yeah, so I managed to do that uh, around the entire base. Don't forget about I did mess up a little bit over here. I feel like I had five, five blocks of concrete and I actually had six, yeah. And then we also managed to completely upgrade all the walls to seal, yeah. So I actually bought I my five blocks out, but it was like actually six, yeah. So I just yeah, actually just remove this, but I kind of, I guess, threw in a little bit of a temporary fix, so yeah, I think it should be fine. So the plan right now is just at least actually start kind of offering the actual uh, spikes and a little bit careful in those snow the blocks below. Just about to die. So go a little bit. Like, uh, I'm actually quite sure, like, well, I won't, well, I won't like to be able to, like, finish the entire thing, but... I think parts of it done. Yeah, I have, like, seven, well, five forges running upstairs now, as well as my main kind of work workbench, so... Quite a lot of uh, screamers, I can't warm it up. So what I'm going to do is just quite simply like go and simply repair all the. Um, you know, I also dig up, dig up this. Yeah. So we're going to start to repairing the spikes and actually upping them, and then yeah. still push common to the board. So I might actually go and have on a buffer on a metal grind. So what I just actually do is like just go up to the wood bar and just first just actually destroy basic stones there. You can actually see like actually remove like all this like round patches as opposed to actually have those stones on them. I removed all of them, so yeah. that could give like I mean each stone well each of those boulders actually gives three hundred well yeah, I think I have three hundred stone and like Like a ton of metal. Well, yeah, ton of. I think like uh, possibly 150 raw iron as well as like lead and uh, nitrate and coal. We got a lot of that. So yeah, that's nice. 
I would like the one to start getting enough science to I mean, seven. To start getting the uh, chemistry, chemi, chemi table. This way, which I can't pronounce. So you have ten points for that, and then the science needs. Okay, so I need another twenty-five points, basically. Did you start hit? Am I wrong? Hello. Of course you can't work. Oh, it's a pharaoh. Okay. Yeah, they actually started like pulling kind of crazy stuff. I mean. Like, I, I'm not gonna how she doesn't see me. Am I? I had a screamer which I basically shot at. I'm not quite sure why, but I think the screamers might like have a violation because I was standing there. The screamer was standing there. I was shooting like 10 hours at her and she didn't see me. Well, if it, she finally did see me, she actually called upon another two screamers, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is basically what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that trap really works. I mean, it's kind of free screamers right there. Just kind of standing there, not really doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm just doing is basically just get out of there and stuff like that. Hey. Because, well, that breaks down into I don't know, those, right? Which has one. Oh, that, they actually have a thousand. Okay, so it's basically 10,000. So, do they just break into that or did they just vanish? I'm not quite sure. Because you can't mix. When it comes to spikes, right? You can't make you can't make steel spikes. So eleven thousand five hundred bills did I mean? Like? Probably said that. I'm not quite sure. Oh. Now, actually, the shit is actually made a farm. On top of there, just a free by free with fertilizer on it. I didn't actually finish that, but oh well. Yeah. So, basically, my plan was just gonna be, well, stuff. I was gonna need to actually make more wood spikes. I'm not quite sure much I actually need, because I wanna get, um. Hmm. Huh. I think I wanna start with the outer one. So 
say 120. Yeah, let's just start with no, let's start with 140, and then we'll just see what we have. Anyways, that is going to be it for today. So I hope you liked the video. If you do, please leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and goodbye.